right next to the handle zoom. I'm Kurt Kelly, and we're at NAPI 2012 in Miami at Fontainebleau, and I'm with Chris Gonzalez, who is the founder of Deja Vu. Deja Vu Entertainment Incorporated. And what would bring you to a conference like this? Uh, contacts, uh, new experiences, uh, new trades in the industry, getting a general idea of uh, what's happening, uh, who the movers and shakers are, uh, who's making the progressive moves. Now you also do lighting and sound for television productions? Uh, Deja Vu's done collective stuff over the years. Um, in nightclub industry, uh, entertainment where we've turned around and done live concerts and events. Uh, but we've also been doing stuff in the movie industry where um, new lighting effects, using LEDs, uh, backdrops, uh, new transient screens. Uh, the touchscreen systems you see in like CSI, we work with one of the companies that provides the only uh, interface media for that touch system. So. Wow, that's, that's high tech. And so how did you go from doing nightclubs into that high tech area of the television and film industry? Well, entertainment to me has always been what you could see and what you could hear. Right. So it didn't matter what areas of it, it was all the same thing to me. So whether it was us doing a concert or uh, coming up with new innovative uh, um, mediums, it's all part of the same thing. So you've been doing this for, I'm guessing, uh, 20 years or more? Easily, since 1986. Okay, so in that period of time, what's changed and why do you feel it's changed? Ah, um... I would say the progression of content. Uh, now that we have uh, moved into the digital age, uh, storage, uh, delivery, uh, we're able to speed things up more rapidly than ever before. Uh, we're able to store things better than before. And we have videotapes that are deteriorating that people are now starting to try to digitize, restore. Uh, so we're now entering the point where um, medium can be turned around and sent in, in seconds to just about anybody. And uh, in over past years that you've come to this convention, what metamorphoses are you witnessing? Uh, the big transitions into uh, mobile marketing and the internet in itself, uh, especially more towards mobile. Uh, right now I can see uh, people using their smartphones, their iPads, more on a progressive basis for that content delivery. Now you said you've been involved in shows like CSI. What technology do you have if I'm a advertiser or someone who wants to know this push technology? Who's watching it on the other end? Who's gonna tell me who that is? Um, there's a few companies that actually have the legal licensing uh, here in North America. There's only about a handful of them. Uh, VizLogix, who's one of our progressive ones, actually located here in Florida. Uh, they're one of the number one leaders in this particular type, what's called film media where whether it be a sheet of plexiglass or a glass window uh, becomes a holographic projection display. Um, there are not many down here who have the resources and I don't think more than two have the licensing. Interesting. So um, where do you see your company evolving with the transition of multimedia? I work primarily as an integrator looking at things that others in the business are missing. So. Um, Certain ones that might be using certain technology uh, to try to create an effect might be missing something that actually already exists that could do it better. And I'll turn around and introduce them to who that may be and how they can utilize it. Um, instead of just having that touch medium be a special effect in a movie, for example, a simple glass window to even this hotel can wind up becoming an actual touchscreen advertisement. Wow. So just little things using that same technology. So I could literally walk up to what I thought was a window and it could be displaying something or showing me multimedia content and I could also touch it and activate devices to get more information? Oh yes, uh, it is so unique that even wearing gloves up to a one inch uh, away from the glass itself will still generate a touch. So the, 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 uh, the, the content is infinite. It could be used for a real estate company trying to turn around and show what they currently have in their inventory. Same thing with automotive. Um, anybody who would want to market on a surface that's just being not utilized. Uh, people walking by that area could easily turn around and interact with it as advertisement for their property or even somebody else's property. Um, movie companies can advertise uh, um, new trailers on it. So that it's endless. It's absolutely endless. Well, and being from Los Angeles, as I see you spend some time there also, um, 
there are now like walls of lights and sound as you're driving just, you know, I can think of the one on Pico by Gateway and other places where you can literally be blinded by advertising that just jumps off a wall. Is that going to continue or do you think that'll get to a point where people say no too much? I, I think what most of the advertisers and media del content uh, delivers are missing right now and where a certain medium like that comes into play is having the customer choose having a customer pick what content they're interested in looking at. Now, part of that technology uh, also ties into various things that we use even for Homeland Security, where the advertiser can get feedback, where it could track the person standing there, tell them approximately what age, what race, uh, what content they were looking at, how long, uh, and take that information so that the advertiser can start to tweak it a little bit, make it more familiar to those who are actually utilizing it. All right. um, just the billboards and the single approach ads, I think those are going to be something we're going to see start to disappear over time. You mentioned something earlier that I could be standing near plexiglass or a surface where even with a glove on an inch away, I could give an imprint to activate something. Does that mean they're getting my fingerprint while I'm at it? No, not at all. Not at all. It, it's basically the same as a mouse click that you're using. Uh, the only difference is, is that it just uses what's called static discharge placement. So it senses where you're near and then figures that's your selection. So we are evolving to the um, age where things we would see in Mission Impossible or Star Trek that were actually fantasy are reality. That is absolutely correct. Um, most of those ideas came about by people dreaming things that they wish they'd like to see. And now we've actually got to the point where technology is now making those reality. So it is, it is very interesting where in the next few years, what forms a new medium we're going to turn around and see as far as advertising, uh, um, even, even movie screens. Uh, I've seen some flexible formats that could probably even be used to wrap a headrest rather than an actual screen. So even stuff in vehicles, we might see major changes. Well, and even at this year's CES, they were debuting new technology where you didn't need to wear glasses to see 3D television. Right. Yeah. Uh, so th there's a lot of areas where a lot of this technology that's coming in, mostly from abroad, uh, some of it's been present for a while, but the, the benefit of having this content delivery like what we have here with Nappy, uh, to see some of these people start to turn around and realize that this is now going to be used for advertisement, uh, media delivery in a totally different forum, that's going to start to speed up. So technology that might have been ignored in the last few years is now going to come to the forefront. Any sneak peeks of what's coming up in the next five years? Um, one of the things that I turn around and I've uh, been looking at is a system called Crystal. It has been used in Canada. Uh, it is a higher definition than the definition we have here in the United States. Uh, higher than 1080. 1080, yeah. It goes well in excess of over 250. Um, so the, the, the 2050 marker, uh, some of the other project systems that they're working on, uh, it is going to get to the point where a single photograph is going to look exactly like the content that's being delivered. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Thank you for your time. Chris Gonzalez from Deja Vu Entertainment. Thank you. Okay. We'll be back with more from NetP, and I'm Kurt Kelly in Miami at Fountain Blue.